Uh, one of the places that it's really nice to have ways you can mess around is when you're working in Desmos. So here I have my left endpoint rectangles, and now I can type in uh, similar to the exactly what I did on the other side. Um, because of the way that this uh, Desmos activity is done, N, N was defined another way. I'm changing it to M. It's really not um, a big deal. You can use, honestly, any variable um, you need. So if I plug in, Oh, I'm only going to three back there. All right. So if I plug in my left endpoint rectangles, the um, expression that I just wrote is a summation, I can see that I go from zero to three. I started at negative two. That gives me the four rectangles. The area of those four rectangles is 34. If I want to do instead the right endpoint rectangles, I can honestly just copy and paste this summation. And then I just change my indices here to go now from one to four to give me the rectangles on the other side. And I can see that the area of those rectangles is 30. So now I can kind of guess that the actual shaded area here in green is somewhere between 30 and 34. If I wanted, of course, to mess with where I started, then I can just change this value here. And then if I wanted to mess with the number of rectangles, I can change my indices. So the fact that I wrote it out this way with f of x defined already in my um, Desmos makes it a lot easier for me to kind of mess with different um, numbers of rectangles and things like that.